The third control here is a smoothed randomly fluctuating voltage. I'll plug that into my third trace here. It's a very wide range voltage. And on the data, I'm actually using the one grid line equals two volt default display. When I have it set to its minimum value, that voltage changes very slowly. And I haven't gone to the filter cutoff right now. As I increase this control, it fluctuates more quickly. Up to a somewhat fast modulation. Now those who know the Buchla source of uncertainty know that it also had a random value that you could weight with probability to either be lower values or higher values. What FRAP tools have done with the Sapel is they've created a probability control, but optionally linked it to every one of its outputs. These little switches here off to the side decide whether or not those values, the two to the nth power, the n plus one, smoothly fluctuating, and even the sample and hold are tied to this waiting to pick lower values or higher values. I'll go ahead and crank up all of these. So you get an idea of the ranges it can put out. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and set up just a one note arpeggio. As I change the weighting control to the lower values, you see all of the traces go more towards the center line. All of these voltages are unipolar, above zero, which means lower transpositions out of the disting, lower selection of vowels out of the motor mouth, and low smoothly fluctuating values going to the filter cutoff. But as I increase this, that's a pretty even distribution between its high and low values. And then this is going to weight it towards its higher values. You can hear the higher octaves come in, particularly on the distance oscillator. The clock has an external input that can voltage control the speed. And these three controls that decide how many different values come out or how fast they fluctuate are also all under voltage control. Unfortunately, this correlation parameter is not under voltage control, and that's the only disappointment here. 